what's up guys welcome back to another kanga video today we're going over the known members and maybe some theories on who i think will be the last members for team purgatory in the battle against kangan and purgatory that's going to happen sometime in kangan omega if you're new here make sure to subscribe hope you enjoy and let's go first some information about purgatory it's pretty much an underground fighting scene similar to kangan but it's pretty much taking over the underground fighting thing from kangan as it gets more popular as it has less strict rules as over the two years the kangan association has introduced more rules that may stop people from dying or that's the ideal of it or purgatory is more brutal and more people tend to be leading towards purgatory so the two organizations meet up and decide to have a battle and of 13 versus 13 after some negotiation 13 matches so 1v1 if whoever wins can decide to either drop out next person comes in or keep fighting pretty much so 13 versus 13 whoever wins pretty much owns all the underground fighting scene in japan so let's go over the first character that's pretty much confirmed to be fighting is known as Edward Wu. He's a mysterious, he's part of the mysterious organization known as Worm and he has personal business with the Kuro clan that we have seen in. Uh, and Kang and Omega having tracked down the pretty much lead person in Purgatory, Edward requested that he be allowed to represent Purgatory in their contest against the Kang Association. The lead person for Purgatory agreed in exchange for information on why Edward wanted to join Purgatory and not the Kang Association side. Edward simply replied that the Kuro have become a eyesore and needed to be disposed of so we have him in the team pretty much the next member that we know of is known as falcon it's good to mention here of how the purgatory system is broken up so pretty much in c list there's broken up to a b and c list gladiators with c list having around 2000 gladiators b having the top 200 and a having the top 30 gladiators and then for the lead person the purgatory to choose 13 over those uh 30 gladiators so we have falcon here falcon was the first person he chose to represent Purgatory as an A-class gladiator of Purgatory as well as the top 13 gladiators he was chosen to represent Purgatory in their contest against the Kang Association it can be inferred that Falcon is an extremely powerful combatant nothing much is known about him his debut in Omega is chapter 20 where he's shadowed and then full debut is chapter 22 up next we have another A-list gladiator in Purgatory the former holder of the title of the sixth Fang of Metsudo he pretty much betrayed, betrayed Metsudo and Kangen to join Purgatory and he's a now an A-class fighter pretty much. During one of Purgatory's night fights while out with two other Purgatory representatives, uh, what's this guy's name? Hikaru that's his name, I don't even want to attempt to pronounce his first name. During his meeting when people with Koga and some other people were watching a Purgatory match, he slowly walked past Koga and did like a sucker punch to his lower region and dropped him just like that and then later on he had a fight with Jose who's another a rank gladiator and pretty much destroyed him in the battle we have him, he's a former Fang, he's said to be just as strong as the 5th Fang. There seems to be, he's the main reason why the 5th Fang of Matsudo is joining the Kanga side in fighting. It's to get revenge for his master for him betraying them. So they're probably going to have a good battle together, can't wait for that. Power and abilities, while yet to showcase his fighting ability, he was noted by Ryu to be more powerful, or just as powerful as the 5th Fang, as I already said. And he has bested Jose's level twice in fights, so very powerful for a class fighter there next we have someone known as nicholas lee banner also known as the grim reaper of paris history at some point he lost to jose in a purgatory match so he's not as strong as hikaru so that's all right then during one of purgatory's uh, night fights nicholas was present with lutine and hikaru encountered uh the other people while yet to showcase his fighting ability he is assumed to be a quite powerful being an a-class gladiator as being one of purgatory's representatives blah, blah blah nothing much is really known about him he seems to be on the smaller size, not very big and muscular as other fighters. Next we have Lutian, known as the Free Demon Fist centipede yep, that's his name during one of purgatory's night fights that he was present with them blah 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 well we have to show his abilities one a class players yep alive we know really nothing about him nothing history appearance he's an older looking gentleman with a hefty frame pretty big that's all we really know about him and another fighter is the unnamed person who's been around the world most of the thing who's linked to the tiger vessel he can be assumed that he's going to be fighting for one as well nothing really knowns about him just the unknown masked man 
and that's working alongside Worm, so we can just assume he's part of that. Nothing really to say about that. Now I'll go over five other characters who haven't been given a name yet, but been confirmed to be representing Purgatory. So the first one is an Eastern European monster who they said was so strong that even all of humanity combined could not match him. There was a man along with Rakasuki who was one of the 10 or so cases of the Superman syndrome in the world. Up next we have a legendary mixed martial artist whose name always comes up anytime people debate about the strongest man in the world. There was a man who they said advanced the history of modern martial arts by 100 years. This guy looks pretty tough. Up next a karate practitioner said to possess fists that could even kill a god. There was a man who killed a man-eating bear with just a single punch. Dangerous for him as well. Up next his background was unknown. A prodigy who practiced a mysterious martial arts. There was a man they said had the talent to overcome the fang of Metsudo. And the last one that hasn't have it given a name. A jujitsu practitioner with a 500 to 0 record whose opponents say they lost before they knew it. There was a man who drove the South American underground martial arts community all on its own. So there's five more people that are representing purgatory they all look top tier fighters and maybe a bit of like you know over exaggeration with a lot of stuff saying they can kill a god and all of that but we never know really so there's pretty much two more spots left for the people that aren't confirmed that is if the unknown fighter is fighting for them and the ones already stated are confirmed fighting so if they say they're all fighting there's two spots left so let's go with some theories a theory is that the boss himself Idemetsu Uru whatever his name is he will be fighting as well he seems to be very muscular and strong so it could be possible that he ends up fighting as well I have to see for that people around the community have also been saying that they hired Mutaba to fight for them as he knows some of the skills of the Kangen fighters and he doesn't really have that much major loyalty so if he has enough money or offered enough money he could fight for them we don't really know we also have seen two more fighters that we've seen before which the first one known is Mike Myers nothing really known about him it's not really likely he's gonna fight but we have seen him so that may need the most fight Right. Info about him, he's one of the top C-class gladiators of Purgatory. He's at top of C, so he could easily advance. He wears a simple mask that possesses uh, similar aspects to the Halloween Michael Myers franchise. And another guy known as Tommy Strummer, who defeated Mark Myers to ascend to B rank. He seems to be strong as well, just the fact that he's being shown could assume that he's strong and that he could be represented, but I'm not really sure. Jose won't be fighting, most likely, because, you know, he was pretty much almost killed by Hikaru but he is an A-class gladiator so it could be very possibly a fight but I doubt it but yep there you go that's the people who are most likely be representing Purgatory and maybe some two brand new characters that we haven't seen to fill up the last two spots if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe let me know your thoughts down in the comments let me know who you think maybe is the strongest character in Purgatory that we've seen I'm probably going to go with maybe Falcon or Edward Wu or even the unknown fighter if he does fight for them and I can't wait for the tournament to start hopefully it starts soon in the coming chapters and that's it guys peace